nowadays we are used to taking hundreds of photographs on our digital cameras and before we went digital 35mm enabled us to easily take 36. Now before 35mm a very common format was a medium format. Now medium format commonly takes 12 6x6 6 or if you are in a roll film camera it might be a 6x9 camera in which you only got 8 on the roll. So th think about that a film that you can only get eight photographs on. It makes you think completely differently. You have to think so carefully about the choice of image. And I have here a camera from the 1930s. I think this is about from 38. And it, it's called a Primus or Primus, P-R-I-M-U-S. And although we can't see a manufacturing name on the front, if we open the camera, we've got a name Zenko here, or Zeko, Zeko here. And a little bit of research will tell you that it's a German camera made pre-war, and the company made a few after the war, but didn't last for very long. And it wasn't seen as a particularly high-end manufacturer, but a medium range and I think the spec on this camera is actually very good. We have a 4.5 lens, we have a shutter from B to 100th of a fifth of a second, we have a linked shutter there, we have two viewfinders, we have a sports viewfinder at the top or we have a viewfinder here that we can use for both portrait and landscape. It focuses from one meter to infinity. It folds up like so and unfolds from the bottom here. Loading a film is straightforward as well. If you're wondering why on the back we have two um, indicators. That is because if we were using a mask to make it four by six, which was common at this stage, a mask would go in there and enable us to do four by six. We then had to alternate. That would be for the first one, that would be for the second, and we operated like so. It's. I like the way we have some movement on here for the spool to come out. I find that very easy to put a spool into the camera. It's not the lightest of cameras but because it folds it is not bad on a um, size if we want to put it into a bag. People talk a lot about pre-war lenses, about them not being coated and on the whole a pre-war lens will not be coated. Now what do you mean, what, what, what does he mean by coated lens? Coated lens basically will prevent a lot of glare but some people don't like coated lenses and it is interesting when I used this camera you could tell there was a difference in the lens. There might be a tiny bit of haze in the camera due to its age, but I couldn't see any fungus and it did appear quite clear. Let's have a look at the results. This is the first image which was of the high street and I took these early one morning. So the light is an early morning light and I think it works particularly well in this situation. The film I am using is former pan 100 and I have developed it in ID11 diluted one to one. I think you can definitely see the effect of the uncoated lens. It's not that the photo is um, flat, but it basically has got slightly less contrast. However, it certainly gets that vintage look. And remember, this is a camera 
which is almost 80 years old. It might be 80 years old, but I think it proves how good the lenses were of this time and how capable a camera this actually is. We've got a good degree of tone here. We've got a good degree of sharpness. Something I have noticed is because of the type of viewfinder that I am occasionally not actually getting the camera as straight as perhaps I could have done and maybe a little bit more care could have been taken. Remember we are only getting eight shots on a film because it sits by nine so you have to think extremely carefully about your composition and it's um, and that can be testing. Again, this image here could be, I think, slightly tonally improved, but it does work as an image. I really enjoyed using this camera, and I think it just proves that sometimes you might get a camera that doesn't look the cleverest or the sharpest of models. However, given a good lens, you can produce images which can be very pleasing. I will certainly put another film through this camera and I very much enjoyed using it. So if you see one of these primers cameras, um, like the image shown here, you could put a film in and see how you get on with it. The great thing about cameras is there's always ones you haven't used out there. Many thanks for watching. Bye for now.